When you think about where the economic growth is for the foreseeable future, a lot of it's going to be driven by Asia. And so there is a real need to develop a pipeline of Asian leaders, or leaders who can navigate Asia effectively. And when you think about um, the, the programs uh, that we develop for, for leaders, it's really about bringing in multiple voices, multiple perspectives, and it's about bringing in a views from business, academia, as well as policy makers to provide a holistic view of what it takes to lead effectively in an Asian environment. It's a little bit difficult to actually sort of say there's one Asian model. Uh, you really need to look at it you know, at, at the country level. The leader also has to have various other qualities and attributes. A reserve of instinct and judgment and intuition, but also humility, trustworthiness, uh, openness to change his mind, uh, willingness to effectively and actively listen. So one way to create value is to find profitable growth. And uh, if you want to find profitable growth, you need to be entrepreneurial. You need to go into areas where you can compete and win. And for that, people have to be willing to take a risk. The basic leadership principles of shaping the future of the company, I think, is fungible across geographical borders. And it's the same principles that will apply for effective leadership in the West or in Asia. And the first thing that we urge our leaders to do is to be authentic. Uh, there's only one Steve Jobs or one Jack Welch, and you shouldn't try and be like them. You should be more like yourself.